Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from Dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new video. In today's After Effects tutorial, we are gonna learn how to create some really cool looking glitch animation in After Effects. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. So let's start by creating a new composition and let's keep it 1920 into 1080. Let's make this 30 frames and let's keep it 10 seconds should be good enough and hit ok so let's pretty quickly rename this actually so let's you know hit enter and you can rename it to anything that you want I'm just gonna rename this to glitch there we go and then what I'm gonna do is select the pen tool and you can adjust the stroke at whatever pixels that you want I'm gonna keep it somewhere around 30 let's say and create strokes like that so this is the one shape this is the second and I'm gonna create some shapes really really randomly you can also play around with the stroke width so you know really random stuff something like that maybe thin and do it really you know randomly just something like that maybe make it a bit big and add a stroke like that make it small a bit maybe something like that and this effect is gonna basically gonna be the base of our glitch so you don't need to be precise at all you can just do it really randomly something like that maybe something like this oh hit enter control Z and just something like this just make it big and something like that okay so this is looking pretty good and then what I can do is basically I'm gonna add trim parts to this so what we can do is select the layer any layer actually I'm gonna select the first layer maybe and go ahead and add a trim part to this something like that and now we can go ahead and animate the end property of the trim path. So I'm going to set this to zero. Create a keyframe by hitting on the stopwatch. Go to one second and bring this up to 100. Select the keyframes and hit F9 to ease, ease those keyframes. Go to graph editor. And if your graph editor doesn't look like this, make sure you're working in the edit speed graph and not in the edit value graph. And then what I can do is create a peak like that maybe something like this really really steep so our animation is gonna be slow then it's gonna pump up and be a really fast animation and then settle down really nicely and slowly so we have something like that okay looking pretty good maybe I'll bring this keyframe to run maybe 20 frames let's drag this up yep perfect maybe 25 okay then what I can do is just copy trim paths Control C to copy it. Select all the shapes and hit Control V to paste it up. Oh, hit Control Z. Make sure the time indicator is at the beginning and hit Control V to paste it up. So now we have something like that as you can see. Really simple and easy. And I'm going to do the same exact thing. So what I can do is I'll change the color, maybe make them red. You don't need to act actually change the color. You can keep it at whatever color that you like. And do the same exact thing on the opposite side of the, you know, opposite side of the composition. And then you can also add the trim parts to this as well. So now we have an animation which looks like that. Control Z. Make sure it's right away there. Hit Control V. So now we have something like that. As you can see, you got the idea basically what I'm going for. So I can keep it something like that. Maybe somewhere around there. Let's bring this really steep like that. And again, doing it really, really randomly. Increase this a bit. You can take your time and create as complex glitch animation or glitch shapes actually that you want. I'm doing it really, you know, simple, but you can make it really complex if you want to. And you don't need to click, you know, go right over there and click just like that the way I'm doing. You can basically hit enter and then you can create another shape something like that hit enter 
so that the point you know does not follow the pen tool because if i don't hit enter and create a shape it's gonna follow like that and i don't want that so hit enter enter oh it's still happening i messed up i messed up <laughs> okay maybe increase the size a bit like that something like this and we are almost done yep so now i can go into trim parts and basically we already copied it so we can just paste it up by hitting ctrl v oh make sure i always forgot i don't know why make sure the time indicator is at the beginning and hit ctrl v so now we have something like this you get the idea right all right so our base the glitch uh, the base of the glitch is ready so let's create a main composition this is going to be our main comp hit ok and drag that glitch comp into the main comp so now we have something like that and now what i can do is basically go ahead and duplicate this so hit ctrl d to duplicate it and select the first one make them make it red if you don't you know just to be a bit precise maybe i'll display this a bit so now we have nothing so let's change the track mat to alpha inverted mat so now we have something like this as you can see and just set this to full and you can see we have this really thin lines and i really don't want that if you want to go with that effect you can go with that but i'm gonna pretty quickly add a simple choker to this maybe somewhere on minus one i guess should work yep that works perfect so now we have something like this as you can see really simple to do and now basically what i can do is i can select both the layers and pre-comb this and you can call it anything that you want i'm gonna call this let's say let's call this glitch semi hit okay so now we have our basic animation let's hit ctrl d and rotate this up just to create a bit more complexity so maybe you know 90 degrees maybe drag it right over here hit ctrl d and drag it right over here hit s and just set this to something like minus 100 so now we have something like this as you can see looks a bit more complex so this is looking pretty good let's select this and pre-comp them basically yep so let's select this and pre-comp them you can call this glitch main maybe something like that you can rename it anything that you want i'm really bad at renaming things all right so let's go ahead and add some color to this thing so let's add a fill pretty quick you can choose any color that you like i'm gonna go with kind of a darker pink and then hit ctrl d to duplicate it oh not the color not the fill but the composition so hit ctrl d to duplicate it and maybe set this to kind of a yellow color something like that and just bring this down and displace this just like that so now we have a really cool looking glitch as you can see right off the bat looks really really cool maybe it displays the bit like six frames maybe let's see what we have yep looking really really cool or maybe what i can do is i won't add color right over here i'll hit ctrl z let's hit ctrl z i got an idea basically let's delete the fill as well so now we have still have the base animation i'm going to go into the main glitch the glitch main basically not the main glitch go into glitch semi and i'm going to duplicate it right over here or maybe i duplicate it right over here so let's delete this so i'll duplicate this ones displace them and add a fill let's make this kind of a darker pink just like we did before hit ctrl c ctrl v and make this yellow and let's see what we have in the main comp okay this is looking pretty good now what i can do is go into main comp we still have the glitch main 
okay hit control D and now I'm gonna rotate this up so 90 degrees this would look even more complex than before control D place it right over here and scale this to minus 100 well, it started raining right over here yeah I think it looks a bit more complex than before okay so this is looking pretty good actually as you can see yep really nice let's rename this to something like glitch final or maybe yeah G final for glitch final and yep let's add some glow to this thing so let's add some glow maybe increase the threshold a bit to around 85 and radius to around 20 um, I think that is a bit too much let's go with 8 and bring down the intensity to 0.5 okay this is looking pretty good and all I need to do now is add a text whatever text that you want so let's type in glitch and let's center this up let's increase the size just like that and let's bring this down below the glitch and change the track mat to alpha mat and now we should have something like that which I'm not going for so let's hit control Z let's bring this down and change it to alpha mat yep that is the effect that I'm going for and as you can see looks really really cool to make it look even more complex what we can do is go into the glitch glitch main glitch semi at the very base shape and we can basically randomize this so we can I can just do this by the displacing the layers just like that don't need to be precise at all you can just do it really randomly something like that and yep just like that randomly just to make it look even more complex so if I go into the main glitch you can see now our shape is even more complex than before you see now that is looking pretty glitchy <laughs> alright so this is looking pretty good the glitch final is the main yep so now we have something like that you can also play around with the scale so you can even make it look more complex by just scaling this down you see it looks really really cool I'm, I'm loving it and at one second what I can do is duplicate the text hit control D to duplicate it and change the color something like a pink one and just animate the opacity hit control T not control T just T and let's bring this keyframe right over here maybe it's somewhere around there and just set this to zero so now we have something like that as you can see really simple and easy to create maybe I'll drag it somewhere around there and let's hit F9 to easy ease those keyframes and let's see what we have yep looking really cool and as you can see it's really simple and easy to create now to give a bit more depth into the scene what I can basically do is precom this and again you can call it anything you want I'm just gonna call it one for now so now we have something like that and I'm gonna hit control D to duplicate it and let's scale this down just bring this down and scale this down a bit just like that so now we have two layers which are getting animated as you can see and basically what I did was add find edges and invert this up so we get a really nice and thin looking line so maybe I'll just keep it to somewhere around there hit control D and just keep it somewhere around 96 yep that looks pretty good let's see yep there we go looks really really good you can also add some really cool BG by adding some background to it let's add a solid let's add a four color gradient 
select maybe this pink color and then the yellow one let's place it somewhere around there place this right over here let's make the blue one a kind of a darker blue purple maybe darker purple and this one to a darker blue it's completely personal preference you don't need to follow the exact same things you make it a bit darker and this darker as well let's increase the blend a bit something like that and place it really far just like that there we go Mickey maybe I'll just make it a bit more darker and this a bit more darker as well let's take your time to figure out a really nice color looking background I'm just doing it really randomly maybe something like that so as you can see it's really simple and easy to create you can also create your own custom typeface as well so it's a really cool idea to create some really cool typefaces and it's a really simple effect and you can use it in a number of different ways as you saw in the example video so yep let's wrap this video up i hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys and if it was don't forget to subscribe comment and like and i'll see you in my next video till then take care and thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to stay raw stay creative